me. Staircase to darkness. Something has just walked right through me. You've walked into a room charged with static electricity. feel on your own. Hello and welcome to Most Haunted Extra. This time Carl continues our investigation into HMP Shrewsbury, one of Britain's most haunted locations, whilst Glen braves a very windy Pennyland in Wales. With both locations said to be full of paranormal activity, the boys have their work cut out tonight. We start with Carl at HMP Shrewsbury. Right, so I'm at HMP Shrewsbury, and as you can see behind me, and you can see the light there, I've locked off a camera on the stairs that we got those really good um, footsteps coming up uh, a while ago. Now, I'm leaving that running for the longest time I possibly can, which should be a few hours, um, just to see if we catch anything when no one is here, which hopefully we will. Um, it's very quiet as you can as you can hear. Or not hear. Um, there is a little bit of noise outside because it is a, a, a busy place. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go and look elsewhere um, and hopefully we'll catch something on that. So all right, I'm gonna Actually, I don't quite know how to get out of here. How did we get out? Oh. Right. I'm going to go over to Sea Wing because we've done all the other places in here. And I'm just going past A Wing. That's A Wing. We're on the first floor. That door behind me, I think, is going to shut in a second. Right now, I think these lights, yeah, these lights come on automatically. There's nothing strange about that. Now I'm about to walk into Sea Wing. Right. And this is where the death cell is. I'm out of breath already. Well, I'm inside the, uh, the hall to Penny Lan and it's cold and absolutely pitch black and um, I think this is one of the main living areas so all kinds of artifacts dotted around oh I've only just clocked that piano I couldn't see it in the darkness but with the infrared and looking through the viewfinder here there's a piano let me just check if the, the lid's locked or not. Difficult. There we go. Yeah, so that's a nice looking bit of kit. Presumably. Right, okay. So we know that works if it needs a little tuning. So, something to listen out for. So, calling out to any spirits here. My name is Glenn. I'm here with the greatest respect, but I'm here out of curiosity. If you still reside in this building, can you let your presence be known to me? Don't be afraid. Make a noise, talk to me. Play a note on that piano. I'm only too pleased to hear from you. It's worth exploring the as much of the house as I can, I think. Um, not only is there quite a few rooms up in the attic, there's, uh, there's also a cellar. So, where do I go? Cellar or attic, I wonder. And even better if I get some callback phenomena and the piano were to go, just as I'm leaving the room, I'm gonna to to put a torch on so I can see where I'm, I'm going because otherwise I'm in danger of walking 
into a into a door or a wall or something. But so far so good. It's not not played that piano. But um, I don't know, I'm thinking cellar. Let's do the cellar. Come on then. Let's have a look. Somewhere around here. Quite like a, a staircase to darkness to uh, get the old brain working overtime. Hey, spirits down there! I'm coming to get you. Oh, hang on, there's a noise here. Hello. Just the wind on the back door. Yeah, it's a very, very windy night. Okay, yep, definitely the wind. Or something trying to get in. <laughs> right, there it is, everyone. I've got my torch on my phone. And we quite often get some stuff up somewhere sort of in the middle. But I'm gonna. I'm going to try and work my way through the desk hill first. And I'll come, come along through to here. There we go, the execution room. Now, oh, now I've not even seen that. What's that? Oh, that's, this is new to me, so that's a little exhibit. Very pleasant. And at least they've got some kind of an attempt at a cracked kind of rope. They used to have that sort of American style twist, which wasn't used here. It was an Italian hem rope that was used. And it's got, a, you can see, it's this little slip ring on the top, which it wouldn't have been like that, but it would have been the. Uh, the noose as it slipped around and broke the neck. The, uh, when the noose was put around the neck, it was the slip ring was put here around the, the left ear. So when you dropped, the rope would go around to the front and it would pull your neck up and snap the neck around the back. Uh, hence giving you a, a very, very quick death. Not very nice, but. That's the fact. Are you here? It's so quiet. If you're here, can you make a noise? Can you copy this? Can you show yourself to me? I'm not here to harm you or ridicule you. I'm... Hello? There's a knocking sound I can hear outside. There's a nightclub just over there. And you can, there's a beat, but it's a regular beat. And you can hear it. Just about where there was like. Can you make another sound? What the fuck was that? Hello? Right, okay. There was something then that seemed to come from over here. Can you talk to me? Sarah or madam, did you die here?
Right, there's a... That window is vibrating, because there's a lot of wind outside. Can you make a sound? Can you make another sound? Can you show yourself to me? If you're here, can you make one of those dummies move? kicking something. Right, let's uh, try and get down here. Hello? Is there anyone down here? Things that have been happening with me when I've been filming with Most Haunted and I generally get these shivers right down the back of my neck and when that happens something tends to happen and it's, it's just happened, it's, it's more than just shivers, it's as if you've walked into a room charged with static electricity hear the wind blowing furiously outside. Any spirits down here? You want to play a game? You want to move the trike? Can you throw the ball? And so I'm gonna pick the ball up and you throw it back to me. Come on then, pass this back. It's a very uneven floor by the way, so don't, uh, don't assume that I'm just having it rolled back instantly. forwards. I'm not afraid. But if I'm not welcome here, then you need to let me know about that. Move that chair. Move, move one of those chairs. towards me, let me hear your footsteps. It's quite a big cellar actually, there's another section which I'm going to try and find my way over to. Come on, throw that ball at me. You never know. But yeah, quite good if it did. Now yeah, there's a. It's like a. It's like a something you'd expect to see in a prison. This is a very heavy iron gate. It's got the lock sticking out. Sign of that uh, locking me in. But if you're here, you want to demonstrate your strength, why don't you slam that shut? It's 
very heavy that is. Let's just wander further into the cellar. Come on, show yourself. Not hearing any noises, nothing from further afield, not from the cellar room next door. Hello? Copy me. Are there any proud Welsh folk down here who might object to an Englishman being in the cellar? Scare me out. Again, still in the same position. attic rooms and then come back down here and see if that ball's moved or the, or the trike. That'd be quite interesting. Come on, let's go. We go out here. Let's go to Sea Wing because I say this is why well, they say the last they would have spent their last night in this room, which is a... When you think that, knowing what they know, these probably were the last windows they would have all looked at, or looked through to the outside. I have a little thing about Ruth Ellis, the last lady to be hanged in the UK. A very brutal murder. Hello? Hello? You just heard a knock. Are you here? Now I just heard a knock. It's not a... Um, it's not from outside because it, it was just one. Knock. But that was from outside. Are you here? Okay. I can hear something in that corner. Is that you? The 
squeaking sounds coming outside, but I'm hoping you're picking up those lines. If like something, just walk. Now, I'm sh there's a train track over there. It's awful squeaking sound. It must be coming from there, I'm assuming. Can you copy this? Right, now that is coming from there. Sir, madam, can you knock twice if you, your life ended here? Well, now that's moved, that's over there. I know the frustrating thing is you're hearing from your speakers at home, which will just become from either side of your television, uh, or obviously in your earphones if you're listening it to on there. But I can hear it. See, I can hear it all around. It's still going. Can you walk around me, sir or madam? Can you open that door? Something just walked in here, walked around me and walked out. I didn't say anything because I didn't want to interrupt. Thank you. Can you come back in here? Can you open that door? Don't go away. Can you come back in here? I'm sure if they walked out then. Let's go and follow them. Hello? I wonder if they walked into there or through here. Well, nothing was happening in that other place, so. Can't see a thing. That felt as though you saw me put my arm out there, my hand. But to my eyes, it was like there was a solid wall there, or a door or something. Just heard a noise in there. Again, it's a very, very windy night, so we could be hearing buffeting of the windows. This is a very nice big table, which I'll throw, it up, throw a bit more light into the room for you. It's perfect for a seance, perhaps. Just a bit big for me on my own. Come on, is there anybody here? Oh, let's go upstairs as I promised I would do. Last chance, make your presence known before I go upstairs. Hello? That's my footsteps you can hear.
It wasn't that, it was a proper slam. Well, are these all open? If you've just shut a door, can you do it again? The thing is the acoustics here are quite strange, so sometimes what you think is behind you is actually in front of you. But as you can see, all these doors are open. Ooh. Right, that was up here again. Nope, they're all, they are all open. I know I'm rushing through this, but, right, they all open. I'm gonna balance this on there. Probably not the best thing to do with a camera on the top of a haunted place. If I shut the door, There's a door next to me here. Can you open it? Come on. Show me you're here. Need that torch on there. That's me. Slam another door now. Actually, if it slams, maybe it will. Maybe that was the sound. Maybe it wasn't a shut, it was an open. Can you force one of these doors open again? Now, here's an interesting room. I'm informed that uh, sometimes, I'm not sure you can see me in the mirror so well there, but sometimes you can hear children's laughter in here. Now, whether that's a psychological event, because we have two single beds and a, and a cot, so we're already primed to imagine it, you know? Let's just sit it out. Although he didn't hear it at the time, whilst Glenn was looking in the mirror, there is a distinct noise that sounds very much like a child laughing or coughing. I'm not sure you can see me in the mirror so well there, but... I'm not sure you can see me in the mirror so well there, but... So... With no children in the building and no other reason for the sound, this remains a mystery. What do you think? I'm not sure you can see me in the mirror so well there, but... There's a bit of light shining from the torch there. I'm sitting on a chair, calling out. Any children in here want to play? Have you any toys that you can show me that you can throw in my direction? Do you want to run around the room? You won't get told off, I promise. Do you know any nursery rhymes? There was a creak beneath me just then and I'm sitting perfectly still. Come on, come forwards. Maybe share a nursery rhyme with me. seen above the cart on top of that wardrobe. A whole heap of luggage. That's just waiting to come flying off, isn't it? How good would that be? Can you throw any of that at me?
Were you the person I was talking to in the in the room next to the condemned cell where you'd have spent your last night? Thank you. Can you walk towards me? That's gone in there. Whatever the hell that was. That's just walked in there. I know I've been doing this a long time, but it doesn't get any less eerie. I'm coming into the cell. Okay, if you're here, move the door again. If you've just walked into here and they were footsteps, slam this door. It's probably not a good idea to be in here when it's slammed because I haven't got no handle to get out. I don't know whether these doors are slamming in or out. I mean, there's no one else in, in here at all. Absolutely no one. What about these? What these make? Is there anything in there? No, these are just shallow cubicles. And an empty space. Hello? slamming or I don't know if you slamming shut or, or being pushed open. Can you copy this? Come on, shut, let's shut this door. I know we, we do this a thousand times. It's farther away. Walk towards me. Please walk towards me. If you did it earlier. Can you do it now? I'm trying to keep as much of me in shot so you know everything I've got is... But you need to see where... If it's going. Come towards me! Can you copy that? Please don't be afraid. I have to admit I'm slightly apprehensive but... We've been here many times, we may have met before. So please, come towards me, walk towards me. So 
on top of me. Something has just walked right through me. Oh, we know it does that. Fuck me! I think you know what to do. Something's just walked that way. Yet again, there's been another smash up here. Well, let's go and do it together. Kind of. I'm really wanting to see one of these doors actually shut. But they're not. They're all open. They're all very much open. The trouble is, when you're on your own, you rarely feel on your own. You're constantly aware that there's kind of something watching you or... <laughs> Fuck! Shit. Two, two, two. Fuck. That was right down this end. This is actually getting quite freaky. It's actually getting quite freaky. Um, I don't quite know what to do. We're hearing, obviously, as you know, we're hearing knocks and bangs and. Um, huge uh, sounds of doors slamming which alone is, is, is frightening as crap because it's so loud um, but I don't know where they're coming from I, I, the, 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 the cells if the doors are opening they're not closing so they must be opening like I th we, we, we looked earlier and I think you're with me in the fact that it's scary as shit See, when, you, when you're quiet and you don't say anything, that you can hear the natural noises of the place. And there's the odd little boom, which is the wind blowing on it, because remember this place has been empty now for some time. And without warmth and constant people going through it, things deteriorate slightly. So with the roof and the wind will make its own new noises against the building. But the other noises are definitely in here. Those noises are with me. Something walked through me. And I feel hugely privileged to be witnessing it. Can you copy me? Can you slam a door? I don't know if you can hear that. I can hear a motorbike outside in the distance. Come on, show yourself to me. Walk towards me again. Whichever way you want, whether it's from that side or from that side, 
If you walked through me before, please do it again. Can you copy this? I think a train's pulling in. That's a different sound altogether. That is amazing though. The door slam, it seems to go very quiet. Can you copy this? Nothing. Well, it's all gone a little bit quiet. Oh, it's freaky. You really do feel like you're being watched by just about everything. All in sundry seems to have eyes on you. It really is eerie. I and mean, let's face it, most of us won't hopefully ever be in a prison, but to be in a prison on your own and it be so quiet and you hear these things. It's amazing. It's still relatively quiet. Now, I am aware that there's, just looking down in case I fall on this step here, I am aware that people say nothing ever happens to Glenn. Well, I will tell you that Whilst I'm walking up these stairs to the attic rooms, stuff has happened to me, which I can't readily explain. I mean, the stuff that's happened was batshit crazy. But that, my friends, is for another episode. So, don't you worry about things not happening to me, because they do. Where are we now? Bit of a clutter fest up here. Pokey little attic rooms. <laughs> that was me. Okay. Come on, if you're here, can you do something? Can you push that around? Can you throw something in it? Can you throw that at me? I'm, I'm hearing myself exhale really loudly in a in a hesitant manner. You know, I'm. I'm I'm feeling hesitant. I think that's psychological in the sense that this is the very first time I've been to this building. I'm on my own. And it's it's all alien to me in a way, you know, I'm poking away around in the in the darkness for some people. That's a that's a bit of a tease. For me. Getting lost freaks me right out. Oh, see, I can't see what I'm doing in this darkness, and I've just hit. Looks like a lampshade on a on a shelf. Two more beds. Ready for somebody to stay the whole night, or maybe ready for unseen residents to stay. I heard something on the window then. Listen to that wind. Like I say, incredibly atmospheric. Poking around in an old manor hall in deep as dark as Wales with that noise outside. It kind of underlies, underlines the...
the wonder of what we do, really. You know, I've had footsteps wandering, door slamming by something that isn't here, something physically that isn't here. Is it an energy? What is it? Right, I think it's all gone a little bit quiet now, so I think I'm going to go off. I'll go back. Hello. I'm back. Now that you're a little bit more familiar with me visiting, why are you going to show yourself? Hoping that I would. Yeah, that went. It's insane. I was hoping I would benefit from some activity this evening. I'm not afraid, but are the spirits afraid of me, perhaps? Who knows? I wanted chairs being moved, you know. I'm expecting it to happen. And I dare say, it still could. Doesn't look like that's moved any time soon, has it? Not since I closed and opened it again. Hello? Hello? tracks in because I've what I heard just a couple of distinct taps but again with the weather conditions outside could have just been that wind but they sounded quite deliberate which is why I paused the cellar. I'll leave you alone. I shall leave the cellar. Let's get out of here, eh? Oh, just Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? I've 
got to say, these two add a little bit more freakiness into this place. Well, I don't know, there's nothing there. Ooh. Something just followed me off of there. Some the footsteps on there, they just follow me. Hello? I don't know, there's nothing there. Ooh. I don't know, there's nothing there. Ooh. I think that's quiet. Well, if you can, follow me out. Walk with me. Sure, I heard footsteps. I'll play that back. Well, you'd have probably heard it by now a few times. Okay, so that's the right way. Right, and I shall. That irritating high pitched squeak. I don't mean my voice. Call into it now. That was fantastic. This place never fails to deliver. Oh, the lights have just come on. After looking back at the locked off camera on the stairs, we were amazed at what we had caught. Right, so I'm at HMP Shrewsbury and as you can see behind me, you can see the light there, I've locked off a camera on the stairs that we got those really good um, footsteps coming up uh, a while ago. Now I'm leaving that running for the longest time I possibly can, which should be a few hours, um, just to see if we catch anything when no one is here, which hopefully we will. Um, it's very quiet as you can as you can hear. Or not hear. Um, there is a little bit of noise outside because it is a, a, a busy place. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna go and look elsewhere um, and hopefully we'll catch something on that. So right, I'm gonna I don't quite know how to get out of here. How did we get out? Oh. Right. I'm going to go over to see the.
With loud banging sounds and footsteps of an invisible presence climbing the stairs, this stands to prove that something or someone walks the cells and corridors of HMP Shrewsbury when no one is there. With that, we end our Most Haunted Extra at HMP Shrewsbury and Pennyland. Until next time, sleep tight. <laughs>